Iran has made it clear that it will continue to defy the will of the international community. Time after time, the world's leading powers have tabled diplomatic proposals to resolve the Iranian nuclear issue peacefully. But I have to tell you the truth. Diplomacy has not worked. Iran ignores all these offers. It's running out the clock. It has used negotiations, including the most recent ones, to buy time to press ahead with its nuclear program. So thus far, the sanctions have not stopped the nuclear program either. Sanctions have hit the Iranian economy hard. That is true. But Iran's leaders, well, they just grit their teeth and they move forward. Iran enriches more and more uranium. It installs faster and faster centrifuges. It's still not crossed the red line I drew at the United Nations last September. But Iran is getting closer to that red line. And it's putting itself in a position to cross that line very quickly once it decides to do so. Ladies and gentlemen, to prevent Iran from developing nuclear weapons, we cannot allow Iran to cross that red line. We must stop. We have to stop its nuclear enrichment program before it's too late. And I have to tell you, from the bottom of my heart and with the clarity of my brain, words alone will not stop Iran. Sanctions alone will not stop Iran. Sanctions must be coupled with a clear and credible military threat if diplomacy and sanctions fail. 